Hey guys, Pyron here, and welcome to London, the east coast of Copenhagen, the Netherlands, and I am coming to you from Vilnius. Uh, we're in Cordoba now, and this is Freedom Investor TV. Hey team, and welcome to another episode of Freedom Investor TV. Now, as you can probably tell, I'm still in St. Moritz in Switzerland, and this week I want to talk to you a little bit about when things go wrong and failing. So, often if you fail, if you trip up, and seriously, here's some really cool video of me bailing pretty hard on slopes. As you can see, there's um, almost zero visibility around here. Uh, so here's some really cool video of me bailing. When we bail, when we fail, when we make mistakes, it's because we're trying something new. I mean, think about the first time you ever rode a bike. You fell over a lot, you needed assistance, you tried new things, you know, sometimes you pushed yourself to the limits. You might have done BMX, you might have gone mountain biking, and you really pushed yourself to the limits, and sometimes you failed. Sometimes you maybe broke an arm, you might have punctured a tire on your bike, you might have fallen over. And whilst that hurts your confidence in the short time, it's actually good for you in the long run, simply because it means you are pushing those boundaries, you are trying something new. So seriously, if you fail, if you make a mistake, that's awesome because it means you're trying something different. I mean, with the skiing, I could just stay on the little baby slopes and yeah, I wouldn't fall over. But where's the fun in that? I would love pushing myself to new extremes, trying new things. Shit. Uh, <laughs> talking about failing, almost bailed on the T-bar. Um, just trying new things and pushing yourself to the limit. So if you fail, it means, okay, here's the limit of what you can do now. Maybe you need more skills, maybe you need more practice to go out and do it. Now the other thing is, you know, as you can see, the surroundings, this, this weather at the moment, is not the best skiing weather that you might want. But, you've just got to make do with what you've got, what resources you've got. In your investing, in your business, you're not going to have the perfect conditions every time. So, look for the opportunities. I mean, here, we knew it was going to be like this today, but we also knew there's going to be absolutely no one on the slopes. But we've got fresh powder, and sure, we can't go as fast, but it, it gives us a different perspective. It gives us the chance to explore new ways of skiing and utilize that with your business. If conditions aren't perfect for what you'd like them to be, what can you do? What opportunities can you take advantage of in order to learn something new, in order to get some new experience, or else just have fun at a different pace. So here we are one day later, and look at the piss. I am seriously in one of the most luxurious ski resorts in the world, and I've got the entire piss to myself. And the reason for that is because I stuck it out yesterday. So there's a lot of Europeans who saw the weather forecast, knew yesterday was going to be a bad day, and so they decided not to spend the weekend here. Now, we stuck it out, we pushed through, and because of that, now I get rewarded. Seriously, we're up around 2,600 meters, um, but we've had, the clouds only just starting to come in now, but we've had beautiful sun all day, clear pists with no one on it, and some of the best skiing I've ever done. It's been fantastic. But as I was saying, when you go through those hard times, whilst it might not be as fun as, say, today is, because I can just go straight down the mountain, what I was able to do is I was able to learn how to ski in deep powder, which means now I've actually got better skills for going off piss, going into the deep powder. I took the time to push through. Yes, the, it wasn't as great as we would have liked it, but we pushed through and now we've got some awesome skills and 
we're being rewarded today with almost no one on the on the mountain so take that into account look not everything's going to go your way when things don't work out how can you turn it into an, an advantage how can you make it work best for you and you will get rewarded see you next week